In this video, I'm going to show you how to play workshop maps on Steam and Epic Games by yourself or with friends. Timestamps are on screen. Now let's get into the video. First, we'll have to download some things, which I'll link them in the description so you guys don't have to go through the pain of looking them up. The first thing I'm going to download is the plugin called Workshop Map Downloader. This was used in the last tutorial and it will allow us to download the workshop maps and put them in the folder we need. The second plugin is called Rocket Plugin, which we will use to host a multiplayer lobby in case you want to play with your friends, which is probably why you're here. The last one is indeed not a plugin, but it's a VPN we would use to connect to others. It's called Tamachi, or you can use Vadmin VPN. Once downloaded, you can follow what I do. First, go to the Workshop Map Download plugin and open the menu. Next, make sure your path is connected to the program files version of Rocket League, the one where you can see the mods folder. This is just an easy, automatically placed folder that we can put all of our workshop maps in. After that, click on Save Path so that it's connected to the folder. If you don't have the mods folder, then you can just make one. Now go to the workshop map section and whatever you do, do not just click search. You have to type something in first or it's your game will crash like this. Alright, now that we're back, we're going to try to think of a topic. Let's try Dribble and see what comes up. Now, you'll see there's a bunch of maps that are loading up and it hasn't crashed. And as a test, we're going to download the open Dribble map. I'm gonna click on download map and click on yes and wait for it to download. After you have downloaded your map, tap back into Rocket League in case you tab you out and open your plugin. For me, I have it set to F3 so that I can open it up faster. And go back to map loader, refresh the maps, and if you do manage to see any red text below the title of the map, then click on it and press batch file. That should get rid of it. Now we have finished setting up workshop maps for ourselves. You can now play solo if you want. Now we're going to find the map real quick. Now that we have found the map, we can click on it and click on solo. It will load us into the map by ourselves and we can pretty much act like a free play. Congrats, you have downloaded and played your first map. Now that you're in your map, you can do whatever you want. It's all free play. And as you can see, I'm just doing a little air dribble right now. Doing what the map is intended to do and helping with my air dribbles. But you've come for the multiplayer part, which lucky for you, this is what this video is about. Now in this next part of the video, I'm going to show you how you can set up, join, and host Rocket League multiplayer custom maps through Rocket Plugin. Now, this is where we start using Hamachi or Badman if you prefer that. Upon opening, you'll be greeted with a sign in or sign up option depending on if you ever use Hamachi or not. If you have, then you can sign in pretty easy. It doesn't matter who creates the network, as long as it's just all connected together. You can make your network ID and password. Now that you have made your network ID and password, you can now click create. And now you can invite your friends to this network. As you can see, you can only have up to 5 people unless you're trying to pay for more. Now this is where the video branches off. I'm going to be showing you what the host should do. We are now in the multiplayer section of the video. This is the host POV. First things first, we go to open up Focus Mod, go to Rocket Plugin that we have already downloaded from earlier, and open the menu. Now you'll be seeing a bunch of options here. We'll be only using the left side. You can see that there's many different modes here from the normal Rocket League. We will not be clicking enable workshop maps as nothing shows here. We will be checking the custom maps box so that it can show our custom maps that we put in the mod folder. As you can see, they are the same maps that I had in my workshop map downloaded plugin. Now we're going to be selecting one of the maps that I will be using to test out this. We'll look at the Quidditch map. Now we can set the number of players, difficulty of bots, Team settings, like team names, team colors, everything like that. And we can change mutators. As if we click this little tab below it, you can see that there's many different options like enable free play, 
boost control, ball physics, all that. Once you are done messing with your mutators, you can now press host. It will send you to a dedicated server where you can play by yourself or with friends. If you have seen any of Lethemus videos, you can see that he has match admin and able to pause the game. You'll be able to mess around with the goals, time, and all of it. And now, we are done being the host. Now for the joiners, they have to go and right click on your name in Hamachi or Radman and copy IPv4 address. After that, they can go and paste it into the IP address box and they can click on joining a custom map. Now remember, you guys have to have the exact same map, which I recommend downloading the same way, and then click on join. You should now be teleported into the server with your friend. Now, that would necessarily be it. There isn't really much to go over in this, but we can go over one more thing, and that is an alternative way to download workshop maps, just in case your workshop map downloader does not work which we would be using lethemir.com. After going to lethemir.com, you can click on all maps. You can find any map you want. After you find the map you wanted to download, click on it and click on download. Now you click on download again and it will put a new file into your downloads. After you have downloaded the map, click on it and click on extract all. Click extract and wait. Boom, now you have your map. Now if you can, try to find the mods folder that we use for the workshop app downloader plugin. Now we're in the folder. We can now get the file that we just extracted and drag it into the mods folder. Now you have a new map. It will show in the workshop map downloader plugin and it will show in rocket plugin also. Medieval Quidditch was the one I downloaded which it shows here and I'm able to play it. As you can see, it shows up here too. Now we are done with the video. This is the end. You now know how to download workshop maps and play them with your friends. Comment down if it worked or not. Leave a like too, subscribe, and share with your friends.